All right, this demonstration is called the Magic Picture. We have a juice pitcher, and um, you'll notice I've modified it. There's a little tube sticking out the bottom, um, so liquid can drain out the bottom. So we're going to add some water to it and see what happens, and then see if you can figure out what's going on. All right, this demonstration is called the Magic Pitcher, and I have a juice pitcher, and I've modified it. You see there's a hole in the bottom, there's a little pipe sticking out, and so your task is to figure out what's going on, why does it do what it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 250 ml of water and add that to the juice pitcher. Like so. Nothing happens. Now I add another 250 ml. No, didn't even finish and now it's going. So we'll catch that water coming out. Fill up my first 250 ml back up. Grab my second one, put it there. It's filling up. And I have back all my 500 mils that my that I put in, plus I got a little bit more coming out. And it's still coming. So now your task is figure out why is it doing what it's doing and what's going to happen when I add water back to the pitcher. So if I add 250 mils, what will it do? When I add 500 mils, what will it do? And try and contemplate and figure out what's going to happen there. Notice that as the stream continues, I don't know if the angles are on the camera, but it keeps getting further and further back in. Um, that's due to pressure. As the pressure reduces, you're going to have a lower angle at which it's going to fall at. Greater pressure, greater weight of the water on the inside, it's going to come out. So let that be a hint, a clue as to what's going on here. It's going slower. Okay, so it's clear that the tube is free to flow. Wow, that was interesting. And now, I'm going to add 250 mils back into the pitcher. What's going to happen? Is that what you expected? Let's add another 250 mils. Now what's going to happen? Let's add all the water. Save a little bit here. Keep 250 out. And add all this back in. Okay, so that's what's going on. So now I add just a little bit more water. She starts over again. So see if you can figure out what's going on. Again, while you're thinking, notice how far the stream is shooting out compared to as it later on the stream keeps moving its way further and further back as a result of changing pressure. Okay, you ready for the solution? It's not quite done draining. Pour out the rest of the water. Show you the inside. So inside the tube, we have a hose that curls around. Here's where it comes out at the bottom. It comes in, up and over, and back down to the bottom, basically creating a siphon. And so once the water level gets over the top of the tube, it completely fills, begins to run downhill towards the out. And once you get that um, kind of train of water running down, it's going to then, through adhesion and through the pressure difference, cause the water to 
continue to flow out and it will continue to flow out pulling water from the bottom here as long as the outspout is lower than the intake spout it will drain the whole pitcher and so when it's on horizontal this spout is slightly lower than the intake spout and so it allows the entire pitcher to drain and that's how it works